This video is all about fixing low GPU usage and hidden VRAM limits in Windows to eliminate stutter, FPS drops, and VRAM related slowdowns while gaming. If your GPU isn't being fully utilized, your FPS keeps fluctuating, or your games feel laggy even on high-end hardware, this guide will show you the exact tweaks to maximize performance. Stick around till the end, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive in. All right, guys, in the first step, we are going to disable Windows Power Throttling, which is a hidden background feature that can directly cause low GPU usage, VRAM related stutters, and random FPS drops during gameplay. To do this, open the Windows search bar, type Group Policy Editor, and click on Edit Group Policy. Once the editor opens, go to Computer Configuration, then Administrative Templates, Open System, and select Power Management. Inside this section, find the policy called Turn Off Power Throttling. Double click it, set the option to Enabled, then click Apply and OK. Enabling this policy fully disables Windows Power Throttling at the system level, allowing both the CPU and GPU to run without background power restrictions. This helps fix low GPU usage, prevents VRAM related performance drops, and keeps FPS stable during intense gaming sessions. After applying the change, close the group policy editor and restart your PC. Now guys, let's properly optimize your paging file because this directly affects VRAM behavior, GPU usage, and stutter in modern games. When your system runs out of physical RAM, Windows starts relying on the paging file. If it is misconfigured or too small, Games can suffer from VRAM overflow, low GPU usage, heavy stuttering, and sudden FPS drops, even on powerful GPUs. To begin, open the Windows search bar and type View Advanced System Settings, then open it. In the window that appears, go to the Advanced tab and click Settings under the Performance section. In the next window, open the Advanced tab again and click Change under Virtual Memory. First, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Select your C drive or the drive where Windows is installed, choose custom size, and we will manually define stable values to prevent memory-related performance issues. Here's the correct way to calculate it. Open the Windows calculator and keep it in standard mode. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, type 16 times 10 to the power of 24 and press equals, which gives you 16,384 megabytes. This value will be your initial size. For the maximum size, multiply that number by 2, so 16,384 times 2 equals 32,768 megabytes. This setup gives Windows enough memory headroom to handle VRAM spillover and high texture usage without choking performance or forcing the GPU to downclock. Enter 16,384 as the initial size and 32,768 as the maximum size. Click Set, then OK, and restart your PC. After reboot, Windows will manage memory far more efficiently, reducing VRAM-related stutters, fixing low GPU usage scenarios, and significantly improving frame time stability and FPS consistency. This tweak works perfectly alongside our VRAM limit and GPU usage fixes, helping eliminate stutter and smooth out gameplay in demanding titles. So guys, in the next step, we are targeting the core issue behind low GPU usage and hidden VRAM restrictions in Windows that can stop your graphics card from boosting properly when the game demands it, resulting in unstable frame times, stuttering, VRAM related slowdowns, and lower FPS, especially on high-end GPUs where usage should be much higher. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Registry Editor and running it as Administrator. Once it opens, paste the registry path shared in the description into the address bar at the top and press Enter. This takes you directly to the section where Windows controls GPU timeouts, scheduling behavior, and VRAM handling. Here, we will create or adjust specific DWWR32 bit values that directly influence how your GPU is utilized. If any of these entries are missing, right-click on Empty Space, select New, choose DWORD 32-bit value, and name it exactly as instructed. First, locate or create TDR delay and set its value to 10. This increases the time Windows allows the GPU to process heavy workloads before forcing a driver reset. When VRAM usage spikes in modern games, the default timeout can cause stutters, sudden FPS drops, black screens, or even crashes. Raising this value helps the GPU stay active under load without being interrupted. 
Next, create or modify HWCHH mode and set it to 2. This forces hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, allowing the graphics card to manage its own workload and VRAM queues more efficiently instead of being bottlenecked by the CPU. This directly improves GPU usage, reduces latency, and stabilizes FPS in supported systems. After that, create or edit disable preemption and set it to 1. This reduces aggressive task switching enforced by Windows, helping VRAM allocation remain stable and minimizing micro stutters caused by constant GPU interruptions during demanding scenes. Once all values are correctly set, close the registry editor and restart your PC. If you ever need to revert these tweaks, you can simply delete the added values or set them back to zero. This step directly fixes low GPU usage, removes hidden VRAM limits, and lays the foundation for smoother gameplay with higher and more consistent FPS. Now guys, if you're facing lag, ping spikes, or unstable connections in your online games, the Gear Up Booster is the perfect tool to fix those issues. Here is how to use it. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gera Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now guys, let's move on to optimizing your GPU directly through its control panel, which is one of the most important steps in fixing low GPU usage, VRAM related bottlenecks, and FPS drops. I'm using the NVIDIA control panel here, but AMD Radeon software and Intel Graphics Command Center offer equivalent options, so the same logic applies no matter what GPU you are using. Start by opening the NVIDIA control panel. On the left side, click Manage 3D Settings. Then make sure you are on the Global Settings tab. These settings control how your GPU behaves system-wide and can silently limit performance if left on default power-saving modes. First, scroll down to Power Management Mode. By default, this is often set to Adaptive or Optimal Power, which allows the GPU to downclock aggressively. This can cause low GPU usage even in heavy scenes, resulting in stutter and unstable FPS. Change this setting to Prefer Maximum Performance, so your GPU maintains high clock speeds whenever a game is running, eliminating artificial power limits. Next, find Low Latency Mode and set it to Ultra. When this is off or set to Normal, the CPU can queue too many frames ahead, causing the GPU to wait and lowering its utilization. Ultra mode minimizes the render queue, feeds frames to the GPU more efficiently, and helps increase GPU usage while improving frame time consistency. After that, locate vertical sync and turn it off. V-Sync limits frame output to your monitor's refresh rate, which can make GPU usage appear low and prevent the card from boosting properly. Disabling it allows the GPU to render freely, fully utilize available VRAM bandwidth, and push maximum FPS without being capped. Finally, scroll to Threaded Optimization and set it to On. This allows the driver to use multiple CPU threads to communicate with the GPU. If disabled, the GPU can be starved of data, leading to lower usage and micro stutters. Enabling it ensures faster data delivery, better workload distribution, and smoother performance. Once everything is set, click Apply. These control panel optimizations remove hidden driver level restrictions, help the GPU stay fully utilized, reduce VRAM-related slowdowns, and significantly improve FPS stability and overall smoothness during gaming. That's it for fixing low GPU usage and VRAM limits. 
your game should run smoother with higher FPS. If this helped, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more performance tips.